Hey everybody, welcome to a new video series that we're putting together for one gauge digital gauges. So in this series, we're gonna go over every detail of a one gauge setup, all the different things you can do to customize the setup for your needs to build the ultimate digital dash for your vehicle. So the first thing I'm gonna say is that if you're in the market for a digital dash, this is the video that you wanna to watch to give an overview of everything that one gauge does. Um, in future videos, and they'll all be linked in the description below, we're going to go in depth on each of the features, all the different screen options, the different sensors, the different other features that One Gauge offers, so that you can really get a full picture of everything that One Gauge can do. But this video is just going to give you an overview um, and just kind of a quick surface level rundown of what One Gauge is and how it works. So we've been doing this for years now. One Gauge is an established product. Uh, we've got installs in hundreds of different vehicles, all kinds of things from race cars to boats to snow plows. Um, and then, of course, tons of daily drivers that people um, are driving every day to work and using for um, racing and whatever purpose they might want to use it for. So um, in the end, if you're looking for a digital dash, we certainly have a setup that will work for you. So the first thing that I want to go over is really the basis of our setup. It's what we consider the brain of the setup. And um, it takes all of your sensor readings um, collects everything and then it sends it out to your screen. So this is the one gauge hub. So the hub, as you can see, has a variety of different um, screw terminals and other inputs and outputs that allow you to connect everything to this unit. And then your screens connect to the unit either wirelessly or through wires to display all of the sensor information. So every one gauge hub includes a lot of different inputs. You've got about 20 to 30 different sensor inputs that you can use. You've got indicator inputs, so you can um, do indicators like your uh, turn signals, your, your brights for your, your headlights, all kinds of other things. It's also got all the outputs on it for the different screens um, so that you can see all the data that you wanna see. So um, this hub can be mounted basically in whatever way you want. You need, also, this is a case that we provide. It's not a case that you have to use. So you could remove the circuit board from the case if you chose, if you needed to put it in a custom box or if you wanted to waterproof the setup, things like that. Um, this case has mounting tabs on it that you, can mat, that you can mount. The case is a little bit larger than a dollar bill. Um, so we've tried to really keep it very compact um, and very easy to put behind your dashboard. You can put it in the engine compartment, um, all kinds of things like that. So lots of different options for being able to mount this. Um, the only thing to take into account when you're mounting it is if you do have an accelerometer, which gives you the vehicle roll or tilt, um, you, just, you can calibrate the acceler accelerometer on our screens. So that's the one gauge hub, it's the brain, it's required for every one gauge setup. Um, everything comes in and then goes out of this setup. So uh, there are three main input options that we use to be able to get data or sensor readings into the one gauge hub. So the first thing is just standard automotive grade sensors. So these, these types of sensors um, are the same types of sensors that are already installed in your vehicle that provide um, the readings to your factory dash. They're time proven, they're inexpensive, uh, they're typically very accurate, and they're gonna give you good overall readings and reliability for your dash. We also offer um, digital, digital sensors, which would be an upgrade. Um, we typically recommend digital sensors for things like pressure because you're gonna get much more accurate readings than you will with stock sensors. So all of those sensors wire directly into the hub. Um, it's extremely easy. The screw terminals, you just unscrew them, wire it in, screw it in, and then the unit comes pre-programmed to work with the sensors that we provide or the sensors that you choose to use. So the next option for getting data into the system is to use an OBD port. So more modern vehicles, um, vehicles made after 1996 in the United States, have an OBD2 port that you can plug an OBD2 reader in and get some basic sensor readings. Now you're not gonna get everything. Um, there are some common sensors like oil pressure that are not communicated by OBD2. So we'd recommend checking out our OBD2 video if you're looking into that and considering that option. It is a great option for easy plug and play setups. Uh, makes install much more simple so you don't have to install as many things on the engine and in the vehicle. Uh, the third option is what's called the CAN bus um, input. And these are typically for aftermarket ECUs or EFI kits like Holly or um, other aftermarket EFIs. 
So CAN bus is basically just a, a two wire connection, a high and a low, and these wires connect to the one gauge hub. There's a small extension module we add on to the one gauge hub for CAN bus, and it allows you to get uh, the different readings that are broadcast by your ECU. So depending on the manufacturer of the ECU, that could be different readings, but typically, typically you get a lot of different information from those two wires. So if that's an option for you, CAN bus is really an excellent way to communicate. So, of course, you, there's lots of ways to get data into the system, but then how do you see that data on a screen? <clears throat> so we offer three main screen types for one gauge. The first and the simplest is just to use an Android tablet. So an Android tablet will connect wirelessly through Bluetooth to the one gauge hub, and this is a free feature that's included on every hub. So the that wireless connection allows you to see your gauges. You can use the Torque app, Torque Pro, or the Real Dash app. You can design your own dash. You can do data logging. You can use um, the device as a camera, as a dash cam. So there's really a ton of different options that these. Um, tablets or phones would open up to you. It also works if you've got a head unit in your vehicle like a stereo that has a screen that's Android based and you can install apps on. So um, that's another way to get sensor readings through the Android wireless connection. Um, this is usually the cheapest and the easiest method of installation. However, there are some inconveniences like you've got to power on the tablet every time you turn the vehicle on unless you do some fancy programming in the tablet. Um, and there's some other downsides. It can be a little bit more difficult to mount a tablet in your dash. Um, but it is, like I said, the, the most cost effective and, and the cheapest and easiest to do. So um, the next option would be to use one of our one gauge LCD screens that we offer. So these LCD screens, we have a ton of different sizes here. I've got a five inch and a 10 inch screen, two very different sizes. Um, these screens come preloaded with about 40 different gauge designs. And then using a computer, you can also design your own gauges and customize the themes and the designs as well. So these are extremely versatile. These are kind of the standard option if you're looking to replace your factory dash, your factory instrument cluster with a screen. These, are, these power on with the system. As soon as the one gauge hub comes on, this powers on. It's ready to show your gauges pretty much instantly. It has a boot time of about one to two seconds. So as soon as you power the car on, it's ready to go. Um, the screens are extremely versatile. They have a lot of different um, menus and themes, so you can, uh, you can change a lot of the settings on your setup using these. And it opens up a whole uh, bunch of other options as well to be able to customize the system. So those are the one gauge standard LCD screens. Now, if you're looking for something a little bit more advanced, you're looking for some different sizes, um, we do partner with a company called PyDash, and they make a unit that plugs straight into the one gauge hub. It's a plug and play connection, and it allows you to use any HDMI based screen that you like. So the hub by itself does not include an HDMI output. So you can't just use any screen. Um, you would have to add a PyDash to add that capability. And by using a Pi Dash, you also open up um, options for things like backup cameras, navigation, a lot of other things, as well as a huge variety of screen sizes and shapes. So Pi Dash is typically a better option if you're looking for a longer, skinnier sc screen than what we might offer with our standard gauges. So um, those are the different types of screens that we offer. You're probably also asking, well, how do I mount the screen in my vehicle? So um, for a phone or a tablet, you can use, there's all kinds of phone and tablet mounts out there that you can use. There are some that will mount it to your windshield, you can mount it to your dash, you can use an extension that uses um, your bolts in your seat that can come up, and that way you have it, a flexible mounting for a console, things like that. Um, for our standard LCD screens, we do offer housings and mount kits, that way you can mount these screens um, into a housing and then you could put it on in front of a dash, you could put it, put it in front of your factory cluster. Uh, that's usually a good option, it's kind of the in-between if you um, are looking for a more budget install but you want the uh, upgraded options that an LCD screen includes instead of a tablet. We also offer um, a variety, a huge variety of instrument cluster replacements. So these would drop into your dash as uh, and, and match the specs, the, all the mounting points, everything of your factory instrument cluster. So this would basically be a drop-in installation. Of course, it does cost a little bit more, but it offers um, really easy options for install and makes installation extremely convenient if, you're, if you still got your stock dash and you're not building a custom dash. Um, 
So those are the typical mounting options. And then um, one gauge offers a ton of other different features too. And like I said, we'll do additional videos to show you uh, some of these different features and to really go into depth. But um, some of the things that it can do is it is one gauge, you can add relays to it. So this would basically turn um, the one gauge system into a PDM, a power distribution management system. So it would allow you to turn on and off electrical accessories so that you could easily turn off uh, lights or fans or pumps or whatever you might want to do in your vehicle. You can also, using our screens, custom set up um, the, the relays to kick on or off automatically based on a sensor reading. So a common application for that would be you want a relay to turn on whenever coolant temperature rises to a certain point to control your radiator fan, things like that. So um, lots of options there for upgrading with relays and being able to use the one gauge to control all sorts of different things. Uh, we've even done things like um, air ride and other um, types of power control like that. The next thing would be tire pressure monitoring. So we have a tire pressure monitoring system um, that would allow you to monitor tire pressure and tire temperature. So obviously great for race applications. Also great for off-roading. If you're airing down, you need, to be able, you need to be able to keep an eye on your tire pressure and then airing back up. Um, it's, a, it's a great option for that. Uh, we can basically add an unlimited number of tire sensors. We have screw-on type tire sensors as well as valve stem tire sensors that would mount inside the tire. Um, one of our standard options for speedometers to make things easy is to use a GPS speedometer. So our standard GPS speedometer is great for daily driving. We offer that um, as an upgrade to all of our kits. And then if you wanted to go a step further, you could do an upgraded GPS module um, that gets a fix, a satellite fix a little bit more quickly, and it's going to update more quickly. So if you're doing racing or fast acceleration, then it's gonna capture that acceleration a little bit faster. Um, with that comes options for things like lap timing. Um, you can do track lap timing. Um, you can do zero to 60, quarter mile, eighth mile, those types of times as well. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, we have an accelerometer add-on. So that would basically measure how the hub is moving when mounted inside the vehicle to give you vehicle roll and tilt, as well as G-force readings. So if you wanted to um, have on-screen G-force readings, you'd be able to see um, how the vehicle is accelerating, braking, turning, things like that. So um, an accelerometer is another option. As I mentioned before as well, there are options for data logging. So if you're looking to save data for later analysis, we have an SD card module that mounts directly to the one gauge hub so that you can plug an SD card in, save all your data, take that out and put it in a computer and analyze it. You could also use an Android phone or tablet like I mentioned before and data log with that and then that will automatically email the data log to you for future analysis. So lots of good options there. Um, other inputs on the one gauge hub include high temperature inputs or EGTs. Um, so if you're looking to monitor um, exhaust gas temperature, we can add um, basically an unlimited number of exhaust gas temperature sensors to your setup. Uh, typically we do up to eight, but by special request, we can custom build the units to be able to handle pretty much as many as you need. So now that you know a lot of the features of the one gauge, you're probably asking, well, what do I do to order? How do I go about that ordering process? On our website, you'll see um, a lot of different options. We have kit options available if you're just looking for a simple kit, or you can custom build an entire order um, based on exactly what you need. So you can include as many sensors as you need to be able to outfit the setup to your needs. Um, of course, you can always email us and reach out. If you can provide us a list of sensors, that you want or a list of gauges that you want to have working on screen. You can provide us any information about your vehicle, so the make, model, the year of the vehicle, as well as what kind of dash you have. Like if you're looking for one of those instrument cluster replacements that I mentioned, um, you'll want to mention those types of things as well um, so that we can get you a full kit with everything you need. So there's no programming required. Um, all of it comes pre-set up. We test every single unit before it leaves the door to make sure um, it works exactly as expected. So uh, there's no work that you have to do on your end. And if in the future you ever wanna do upgrade or do any minor changes, you don't have to replace the whole thing. Um, we can send you the parts or you can send the unit in, have it upgraded, and then we can um, provide any kind of updates or upgrades 
um, to the code of the unit just by connecting it to, com to your computer. It's about a two minute update process. Same goes for the LCD screens. You can add designs and change those easily. There's a slot on the back of the one of the LCD screen that you can put an SD card into that will update the screen as well. So we have a full instruction manual on our website. You can visit that instruction manual. There'll be a link in the description below. Um, but again, we'll provide uh, a quick start manual, a quick start guide in your setup when you buy it. That will give you a lot of the terminal layout, um, the diagram, so that you know where to plug in any extra sensors that you might want to add. If you buy the sensors from us, they're already going to be installed, so that makes it a little bit easier. And if, if you ever, like I mentioned, if you ever want to update the system or upgrade, say you have a carburetor in your vehicle right now, you've got all your sensors installed, but later you add an EFI kit, um, it's very easy. You, you don't have to buy a whole new kit. We add a single piece of hardware, provide a, a code update for you, and you would be good to go. Um, no need to, to change the entire unit out. So, um, like I said, we've been doing this for years. We don't have issues with um, any kind of warranty or things like that. We stand by our products. If you have an issue and it's our fault, if there's a hardware failure that's on us, then we absolutely stand by our products and we'll work with you to get it fixed and repaired and working as promised. So feel free to reach out to us at any point. Um, there are two ways, two good ways to contact us. The best is by email. You can email at us, email us at info at onegage.com or you can go to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash onegage and you can um, chat with us there if you'd like. So again, thank you so much for watching. There'll be a whole long list of other videos where I go more into depth on each of the things that I've talked about in this video. So check those out, especially if you're curious about things like screens or different sensor options, things like that. Thanks again for watching. Have a good one.